hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to continue that uh, java interview series and today we'll discuss about the inheritance and uh, what are the uh, different different kind of questions they may ask it in an interview room on the uh, in on the particular topic inheritance so as you know java is object oriented programming language and inheritance is a most important part of hoops concept so it's very important to understand what is the concept behind that inheritance what is the inheritance inheritance is like you are inheriting something on your parent like a child is going to inherit some all the properties of the parent class of the of, the, of his parent so similarly if we talk about the java there is a two class one class is a parent class and one class is child class so if child want to access the property of um, property or you can say method or data member of the parent class so uh, we can, I can use we can use the inheritance concept so for that what exactly we need to do so just to check a uh, practical example so here you can see I have a parent class in this parent class there is a data member it is a equals to 10 and a method the method is showing a message hello I am from parent class so in child class child is my main class I am you for using the inheritance concept I am using just this extend keyword after that extend keyword I am extending the parent and here I am going to create an object of child class not a parent class and of that, on that object I am just calling that show method which is right in a parent class and here I am going to print that variable value also which is already defined in parent class so let's see the output so you can see the output here hello I am from parent class and value of a is 10 means we can uh, th this child class can access the uh, method this method of that parent class and that variable also that parent class so this is the inheritance concept so the next concept the next concern next question is the type of inheritance in java so java is uh, supporting mainly if we talk about the class level inheritance there is a single level inheritance multi-level inheritance and the hierarchical inheritance single level inheritance means a class extend the other class we just see that example class uh, parent and child class if we talk about the multi-level class multi-level there is a chain class c going to extend class b and class b going to extend class c similarly if we talk about the hierarchical class b extend class a and class c also going to extend class a two class extending similar class so if we talk about the interface level inheritance it is used as a multi-level inheritance and hybrid inheritance if we talk about the java java is not supported that multi-level inheritance but we can achieve this by using interface we will see in upcoming tutorials how we can do that so let's uh, uh, <clears throat> let's uh, check the practical example of single level inheritance so single level inheritance this is the example of single level inheritance if we talk about the multi-level inheritance just i'm going to show you how it will work so for example i have a class c i have a three class class a class b and class c this is my class a class b and class c so class c extends class a okay and class a extend class b so this is an example of b so class b uh, class a access inherit all the property of that class b and class c will inherit the property of class a so class c can access the property of class b like integer a equals to 20 i'm going to define a variable here now i'm going to create object of class c obj equals to new c now i'm going to simply print a message so this is class c system dot out dot print and dot print here i'm going to call 
the data member of class B. So A. So let's check the output. The output should be 20. So you can see here the output is 20. Now if we talk about the hierarchical inheritance. So hierarchical inheritance means similarly we have a three class class A, class B and class C. So class A a class C will extend class A or we can say class B and similarly class A also extend that class B so this is the example of hierarchical inheritance in Java if we talk about the multiple inheritance multiple inheritance means a class can access multiple like a class can access a this class c class can access a and b also but as a class it's not allowed by the compiler because java is not supported multiple inheritance so we will see in the next question i think how will we how we can achieve that multiple inheritance in java so i hope this question will be clear for you if you have any doubt related to this topic related to this question please comment me or if you want to add some more question in the series so please comment to that question i will uh, add this on this post <clears throat> so my next question is why multiple inheritance is not supported in java so if we take a real time example like i have a class a and class and uh, class a and b extended c and there is a common method in class a and b and the name of the method is show so compiler will confuse between the classes let's check the real time example if i have a three classes class a and class b and class c so i'm going to create a method public void show this method I'm going to print a message system dot out dot print line and this method I am from I am from class A same method we are going to define in class B okay now if I'm going to extend the both methods C obj equals to new c and when i will call that obj dot show the compiler will confuse which show method uh, i have to show or i have to call so it's not supported in this uh, java multiple inheritance so how can we achieve that inheritance uh, and how can we achieve that inheritance in java or uh, this is a misspelling i will check this the question is that how can we achieve multiple inheritance in java so for we need to use interface by using the interface I, we can achieve that multiple inheritance in java so what is interface so interface is a uh, you can say blueprint of copy which is a, a way of achieving the 100% abstraction classes so I'm going to just show you a practical example right now we will discuss in upcoming tutorial what is the interface and uh, how can we define and all that things so I'm going to create an interface here interface A and another interface is interface B in this interface <coughs> I'm going to define a method so in interface we don't need a method public void show don't need to implement the method we just write a prototype of that method in B also I'm going to write a same method here how to use inter uh, an inheritance by using interface so in place of extend we, we have to use that implement keyword so compiler is going to an error <coughs> we have to add all the uh, we have to implement this method here so i'm going to implement this method 
like in interface a we just uh, write a signature of that method but we didn't define what this method will do so public void show i'm gonna implement this method and according to the user requirement at the runtime user can mm, access this method hello java now if i'm going to call this method it will show the output so hello java so now compiler is not confused because there is a one implementation on d it may be it's from a it's from maybe on b because it's not implemented here so by this way you can achieve the multiple inheritance in java <coughs> so my next question is what is super keyword in java super keyword is used to super keyword is uh, super keyword in java is uh, used to you know, occupy the object uh, uh, occupy the value or you can say the object of immediate parent class like uh, super uh, we can use with variables with methods and constructors so in next tutorial <coughs> we will see how to continue how to do that practically all that uh, super keyword things if you like please subscribe my channel and uh, for more video please press bell icon for your updates so thank you so much for watching if you have any doubt please comment me and next tutorial uh, uh, by this series we will continue this question how to do that all the things practically the question will be what are the method overriding can we uh, override the private method can we override the static method we do all these things practically thank you